hello everyone. I have Bright Tunes music versus Hera Song's music in this case took place in 1976. So some background information. The case took place in a district court in southern New York. Um, it involves the chiffon song He's So Fine that came out in 1962 and George Harrison's song My Sweet Lord which came out eight years later in 1970. Um, so the chiffons were an all-girl group originating from the Bronx and George Harrison, if you can't recognize him in the photo, um, he's the lead guitarist for the Beatles. And um, Harrison's, Harrison released the song after the band's breakup. Um, so to understand this case better, I'm going to show you a song comparison between the two songs um, so you get a greater understanding of how similar they sound. Okay, so um, Bright Tunes Music began the case trial against George Harrison claiming that the song My Sweet Lord was plagiarized from He's So Fine. Um, and I didn't realize, but I knew the song My Sweet Lord because I had heard it before, but I have not heard He's So Fine. So, um, I feel like there was better success with George Harrison's song, but anyway. Um, so, for the case, um, I took, a majority of the case was Harrison explaining how the song was originated. Um, so Billy Harrison, which is mentioned, who is mentioned in the, um, paragraph, um, he was also the composer for, um, the song. So it wasn't just, um, Harrison coming up with the song, it was Billy Preston as well. Um, so, yeah, so while they were trying to explain how they originated with the song, it kind of made it sound like they were subconsciously, they subconsciously did it. So, um... I'll just read this. Um, it is apparent from the extensive history between the court and Harrison covering 40 pages in the transcript, transcript that neither Harrison nor Preston were conscious of the fact that they were utilizing the he's so fine theme. However, they in fact were, for it is perfectly obvious to the listener that in musical terms the two songs are vir virtually identical except for one phrase. So um, the court also went into... Um, going specifically into the sound of the music um, and explaining the motifs or motifs. I'm not sure which way you say it. Um, so there's motif A used four times, followed by motif B four times in one case and three times in that order, with the same grace note in the second repetition of motif B. So that doesn't make any sense to me, but I know they sound very, very similar. Um, so Harrison admitted um, on the stand that the two songs were substantially similar which probably didn't help his case either. Um, so in the decision, all the judges concurred, and um, they said, it is clear that My Sweet Lord is the very same song as He's So Fine, with different words, and Harrison had access to He's So Fine. This is under law infringement of copyright, and is no, no less so even though subconsciously accomplished. So even though they subconsciously accidentally came up with the song that sounded almost exactly like the other, the, he was still guilty. Um, and for the part that says he had access to He's So Fine, they had to make sure that Harrison definitely had heard the song before, which He's So Fine was number one on the Billboard charts for five weeks in a row, um, and it stayed up there for a pretty long time. And then it was also in top charts in um, England for a while as well. So there's no doubt that they heard the song um, and yeah, so, um, the court found for the plaintiff's plaintiff on the issue of plagiarism because My Sweet Lord was the very same song as He's So Fine with different words. So, getting into infringement of copyright. So, um, the definition is the unauthorized use of copyrighted material in a matter that violates one of the, one of the copyright owner's exclusive rights, such as the right to reproduce or perform the copyrighted work. Or to take or to make derivative works that build upon it. So um, the main thing to remember is that 
Copyright infringement is, is a broad term used to catch every conceivable way that one can violate another's copyright. So the fact that this song was published, it became a big hit, it, there's no doubt that um, it was infringement of copyright. Um, so, and then also, anything more, um, anything more than a three-note melodic motif can be deemed infringement on copyright, uh, on copyright if the differences are undeterminable. So, they found that um, within the song. And then lastly, um, there's plagiarism. Um, I did not realize plagiarism can be involved in sounds. Um, I thought it was just word for word. Um, but I learned that music plagiarism is the use or close imitation of another author's music while representing it as one's own work. Sorry, I cannot talk. Um, plagiarism in music now occurs in two contexts with a musical idea that is a melody or motive or sampling, taking a portion of one sound recording and re reusing it in a different song. So obviously, um, in this case, it was taken the same melody or motive, um, in the two songs. So that's it. Um, I did watch a few videos about people saying that, um, backing George Harrison up and claiming just that all of the music we hear isn't original. We all hear bits and pieces of other things. Um, so I thought that was very interesting. Um, so yeah, that's my presentation. And then here are my works cited. So thank you.